Super User Project Dial. Hi everyone, today we are going to be doing a makeover of Ubuntu. We are going to be completely changing the user interface and doing some more tweaks. So this is Ubuntu Impish Indri, it's the daily build and it has the newer version of GNOME. And I like the interface on Heather, I think it looks much nicer than before. And so that's why we are going to be using this build to do this. And you know, it's the build coming out soon. So obviously if you want something stable, you want to go older, but this is the build we will be using. And we are going to be using the Nordic themes to do this. And we will also be doing some other tweaks not related to the Nordic stuff. But anyway, let's get right to it. You can just follow along and you can do this yourself or you can just watch me do it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we have here is this theme and then we have the wallpaper, the mountain here and then we have the icon theme right here. So first of all we need to be able to theme our system. So what we are going to do is go to the terminal and we are going to be typing sudo apt install gnome dash tweak dash tool chrome dash gnome dash shell i'm not 100 percent sure if you have to do the second one but we will just do it anyway i guess this we have to change it to gnome tweaks and there we go and we can install that stuff and now let's go to Firefox, which is the browser I'm going to be using. And let's go to the add-ons page. Okay, now we can go here and we can do GNOME shell integration. Click on that and do add to Firefox. Okay, so that is now added and we can go to extensions.gnome.org. And we can add our shell extensions. So first thing we want user themes and we will turn that on and install it. But let's download these themes here. So files and then there are different ones right here. So let's just do the standard. Let's go over here. That's taking a while to load, but let's just download this wallpaper right here and let's go to the icon theme and so we want the dark one here let's download that so this one finally came up save and this save this one says problem loading page Actually, I was having that before, so I will need to figure out a different way to get the wallpaper. So let's hold off on that. Okay, so we have those that are downloaded. And so now what we should be able to do is go to our file manager, go to downloads and extract these. Now we can right click open in terminal and we can do sudo cp and then let's do the nordic right here and we can do user share themes. I guess we have to do cp-r. There we go. And now what we want to do is change this. So we will do the other one, the papyrus one, and then user share icons. And there we go. So I guess we don't need user themes on that if we're not doing it in our home directory. But let's close that out and let's go to the GNOME Tweak tool.
and let's go here and select it. So Nordic, there we have it. Cursor, maybe we'll do a cursor later, but we'll just leave it for now. And then for shell, we'll do Nord Nordic. And sound, we can leave that at the default. And I'll have to figure out a different way to get the wallpaper, but this is already looking pretty nice. Now another thing that I want to do is have like a dock at the bottom. So let's go back here and in the GNOME extensions page, what we can do is search for dash to dock, I guess dash to plank. They used to have dash to dock, I think. But we'll do dash to plank. And so now we need to install plank. So we'll do the terminal to do apt install plank. And there we have it. We'll turn that on. Open up plank. says error here and we're not getting that plank dock. Maybe we should try dash to panel if we can't get the dock to work. There, I think that will work right there. We might want to kind of customize it. If there are settings on here, I would like to scale down the icons and stuff. And then the icons, I forgot to change those before. But I'm not seeing the papyrus ones, that's weird. Maybe what we can do is install that icon theme and it won't be the Nordic version of it, but it will be something. But yeah, this is looking nice. Oh, dash the panel settings, there we go. And now what we can do is change the icon size. So I like it a little bit thinner. Maybe like that. And then I guess that didn't work there. We'll leave it at that, that's a little small. And we should be able to, okay, so right here we can, I guess that's different. Okay, this adjusts the padding. So I guess let's make it a little bigger. There we go. I think that looks good, right like that. And then I guess we can see if this is done right here. So we can restart this application. And we can go to appearance. And for the icons, we can do papyrus dark. Okay. So that should work. And let me see if I can find one of those wallpapers, this wallpaper, but I guess we could try. I'm going to see if I can find it, you know, on another thing or something. Okay, so we have a wallpaper right here, so we can do change background. Or actually, let's go to the file manager and change it that way. So I save it to pictures. And we can do set as wallpaper. And that's interesting, it doesn't work. Okay, I downloaded another one. It's the Nordic theme on GNOME look, the wallpaper. That one should work. There we go. And I guess we can delete that other one if it doesn't work. And uh, that's not going to work. It's all blurry. 
I finally found one that will work. I'll put a link down in the description. Now let's check out our apps. So we have the pinned apps right here, but we don't need these all. So I'm going to remove some and you can make something like this. You can remove any of them you don't need. And let's see what else we can do with extensions. So let's try a couple things here. Well, first of all, there is this extension for Firefox. Well, it's a theme and it goes with the other one, the Nordic one. So we can install that there. And now we want to do blur my shell. We will try this one right either. And it will just make this easier to see, this background and stuff like that. Let's go back and let's do this one. Install. And it will just make our windows like this. And what you could do is an applications menu. If you wanted to, you could go like that, but I'm going to leave it at the other. And there's not a whole lot more that I can think of that I would like to do to this. I mean, the better icon theme that matched the Nordic colors more would be ideal because this is like blue right here. Oh, and then we should get a cursor theme. So I usually do the breeze cursor theme right here. And so if we go to tweaks, appearance, cursor, and then breeze cursors, or we can do breeze snow like this. I think I'm going to leave it at breeze snow. And it's looking pretty good. So I can't think of a whole lot more we would do to this, except install some applications. And we already have quite a few applications. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will leave links down in the description if you want to try some of these out. And subscribe if you're new here. Until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.